video of 7441 Bounty. We're in Gulfgate Woods right at the corner of Biltmore, Biltmore and Bounty. And um, this is a nice part of Gulfgate. Uh, deed restricted, everybody has to have tile roofs. And this is a nice corner lot with a nice paver driveway that basically wraps around. I love the Bismarck palm on the corner here. So, some nice palm trees here. Okay, so let's take a look inside this one. Terracotta in color. It's um, it's nice. It has older windows, block construction, pretty standard golf gate. Looks like this has been sitting empty for a while. Pink walls, not crazy about pink walls, nor am I crazy about one, two, three, four different types of flooring all in my field of view. Um, big open area here. This is one big open area, except it's not open to the kitchen, which is a bummer. If it's gonna be open to something, I wish it were open to the kitchen. Oh, I already see something I'm not gonna like. One of my biggest complaints in all these houses is plastic junk on the ceiling. There's nothing I like less than plastic stuff on the ceiling with hiding fluorescent lights. Only when it's cracked and yellow, making it even worse. Um, okay. Pretty basic kitchen. It's, you know, it's, uh, I can't say much nice things about the kitchen other than it opens onto the pool and it has a little pass through that goes onto the pool. Uh, pool deck is that pebbly stuff. You have um, kind of saggy fans there. <laughs> Wait a little longer, they'll, they'll be fate turning the other direction. But look at this um, view though, I have to say, as far as where this is situated, it's situated in a big green belt area. And um, that's really nice. That's actually a very pretty view um, through this little bay window, this eat-in area. But I do not like this kitchen and really think this should be all opened up. There's opportunity here. I mean, you could totally open this place up, redo the kitchen, make this place really nice maybe have one kind of flooring that goes everywhere. Windows are old, you know, that's, an ex that's a big expense. I'll start over here. This is, um, we're gonna call this guest bedroom number one, and these crank out windows, you know, has carpet in here, yet another type of flooring. We have a linen closet and a guest bathroom. The guest bathroom just has a little cultured mar marble top, does have tile around the tub shower arrangement, but all very dated. Though I love the blue color, this bath, this bedroom is just uh, guest bedroom number two. Unremarkable, other than the carpet. Okay, so we have two bedrooms there. Then I have a pass through to the laundry room, a little wash tub, and I do like a two car garage. I do like a two car garage, and I also like a panel that does not need to be changed. And this is a square D panel, which is good. I'm okay with square D panels. Um, decent sized garage, water heater looks okay. Let's see. Here's my flooring collection. I feel like I'm in a flooring showroom here. Okay. We, it is a split plan, so we do have the master over here. One thing I do like, I think these sliders have been replaced. And these are big, heavy, monsters of sliders, if I can open them up, I believe that these are impact resistant. This is a very expensive, wow, yeah, that's, that is nice. You know, I would buy this house just for the fact that it has these awesome sliders, two of them. That's probably a $10,000 door assembly. Okay, master bathroom. Look at all these colors. We got the heat lamp on, we don't need that. Not this time of year. We need that fan. Okay, we got a little toilet and tub, we got a um, vanity, and we have a good size walk-in closet. Very good size walk-in closet. This is pretty spacious. Um, I would say that this house has really good potential because I really like the view uh, out this way. That, that's a fabulous view, I don't think that's ever gonna change. The, the cage itself is okay, the pool's okay. Wish it had a hot tub. Um, it's just dated. It just really needs, what I would do in this, in this house right here is I would completely change this, 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 all this area. 
I would take out this wall and I probably would take out that wall. I would take out a lot of walls. You need some walls, but you could really open this up and move the configuration of this kitchen. I don't know exactly how I would do it, but I would totally have this a lot more opened up. Like this wall serves absolutely no purpose, and I'm sure it's not load bearing. It doesn't do anything. And those closets, probably, you don't need that giant closet right when you walk in because we don't wear coats in Florida. But I think I would totally open this up. Contiguous flooring. I gotta say, this house has really good potential. It could be a really neat open floor plan, but to do it right, you're gonna have to do some windows, you're gonna have to do a kitchen, you're gonna have to do two bathrooms, the roof looks okay, um, and then a lot of flooring. But it seems like a big house, and I have to say, I like this house because of the opportunity to make it right. I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. And as always, thanks for watching.